Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about new job part in SharePoint Online. I will show you how to uh, create news post in SharePoint Online sites. And then we will see how we can add, configure and use a new job part in SharePoint Online team site. So basically we will use a new job parts uh, to display uh, news. Um, or you can say announcements, uh, status, update. So those kind of things, if you require, then uh, you can use the new job part. For example, let us say you want to display your quarterly result, then you can create a news post and you can display it. You can display news about, uh, let's say you opened a new office uh, in some location, you can also uh, display that kind of in information which you are thinking that will be relevant for your organization. Now, when you will open a SharePoint site, you can see here default there will be a new job part. This is a, a SharePoint online modern team site. So, first I will show you how we can create a new job, a new post, and then we'll see how we can edit, update those kind of things as well. So, if you'll click here, then you will see here new post and new link. Two things are there which are related to news if i'll just click on news link then it will ask me to provide a link on that so that means if you have previously any page whether it is a site page that you have created or any external page also if it is there then you can put that link and this way you can add a link uh, to a page on the website which will act as a news link so user can click on that link then they can see the post Another one is the news post. So click over here and then you will see the familiar news templates here. Uh, this is the same template you can see whenever you will create a site page as well. So blank layout, visual layout, basic text layout. So if I will select visual layout, you can see here the UI will be, you can see visually it will come like this. And if you want to basic text layout, you will see your text layout like this. So all these things, whatever you are seeing, um, you can do a customize from a blank news also. So let's say you choose a blank uh, or this is the default one where you can start or you can create a news from the scratch. So you can add columns, text, images, videos, everything. You can do it. Now you can click on create post. You can see here, you can create as a draft also, private draft, which will be available only to you. You can see it unless and until you will make it to public or publish it. Um, then uh, after that, uh, before that, it will be only private. So you can see here, I'll create a post on this. So now you can see here, um, it is asking for a title. So you can provide a title for this news post. So suppose I will say new office, opened in Bangalore. So you can see here, now I gave a link like this and then you can add text here. You can uh, change the column layout. So suppose you can see here, I can have a two columns layout here. You can see you can put some text on this. So normal text web part you can add into this. Suppose I will say text web part. So you can see here. So Next to a part, you can write some text into this. Yes, we have opened a new office at HSR Bangalore. So you can have something like you can do all the formatting. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Now uh, here you can add, let's say I'll just add an image here. Uh, you can take the images from anywhere, stock, stock images, you can take it from sites, upload from a link anywhere you can give. So I'll say, let's say I'll just give a company link or I'll say a building, I can see it here. So suppose you will take uh, this one, I'll take this one. So now you can see I have added like this. So uh, same way you can add more customization you can do. You can add links. You can add even all these parts, whatever you are seeing here. Um, you can uh, uh, you can check that. Suppose I will add a call to action here. So I'll say, let's say I will say uh, click or click below to widget the site something like this so you can have a uh, call to action here you can add google map you can add some information into this so whatever you can do you can do it now then you can see here there is a uh, option here 
to post the news so click on that and you can see here the news has been posted here and if you open this you can see this is the news and you can also uh, allow people to comment it or like it save call later these options you can enable if you want to see the page details you can see about the page details uh, so you can see here the name address all these things uh, you can do it here if you want to delete it you can delete delete the news here as well you can check version history from here so next what i'll do here you can also another feature is you can uh, send email so suppose if there is a news and you want to send an email so you can probably uh, send a uh, email address and put something and then they can see it so you can uh, do that as well on this uh, news uh, web uh, news uh, post now where this news exactly gets saved so if you'll go to the pages uh, then you will be able to see here this is the place where you can see your news post you can select it you can from the command bar you can see all these options as well see this is basically uh, we have a uh, site pages library so on that page it will get stored so this this is where you, the news is there so if you want to come here you can click and you can open it here now uh, this this web parts will be shown or uh, um, the news that will be shown in uh, your sharepoint home page so you can see here now this is if i come to the home page now you can see this is uh, the new web part is available here new office opened in bangalore you can see this picked from that news that we have created here and you can see in the mobile app you can see also news in the sharepoint site home page so uh, there also this is the home page from here also you can see uh, the news will be available on this uh, this web part you have to uh, do little configuration in the web parts as well then uh, also in the news will be uh, will be shown in the hop site on the team channel also you, you can uh, show it so now we will what we will see here is so this is how you can create a news so here so anytime you can open the page here you can edit it sorry you can click on this page so now this is the page you can edit it and if you want to modify it you can do that as well so over here and you can click on update so that's how you can update on the news as well next what i will show you is um how how we can display these things in a new job part so for that i will create i'll go to the home page and create a site page here so you can see here if you'll select page you can see here same kind of uh, layouts we have um you have a blank layout so i'll select this create a page and here i'll say news web part demo like this and on this i will delete this default one so default text now here i will so that i'll just make two column layout and then click over here and then here i will search for news so you can see here it will search for news news your part you will be able to see by default you can see here the news is appearing and uh, you can edit the uh, properties here so these are the very useful properties you can see so first of all from where you want to select the news so you can see here i have selected news uh, this from this side you can select a uh, site so you can also select it from other side so uh, let's say i'll say eb you can see here no news are there so this is something default it is showing so if you have if you want to display news from a particular site you can display from there or recommended for current user also the logged in user so you can uh, select that user also so that user if um, you know the news will be displayed from uh, those particular user current user um, from the followed sites so basically it will take the 20 followed sites or the frequently visited sites so from those things it will pick and display the uh, news news from uh, in this news job part timing being i'll just select this site and then you see this options here you can see top story and you will have multiple news i'll, I'll quickly create two three more news and i'll come back to this video so what i have done here is i created you can see here color of news here um, i have added five more news here now you can see total six news on this so if i'll now go to the home page where we have uh, our news web part you can see here so how this news web part is coming you can see how the look and feel as well 
I'll go to our pages where we have added uh, the news web part demo. You can see here, this is the uh, page here. And what I'll do is I'll edit this. And now you see here, this is how the news web part is displaying the news. You can see, I will just quickly edit this. You can see. So, uh, so title and commands, if you want to show it, you can do it. Else if disable it, it will not show the news things here. So add news, all these things, it will not show. You can see top story and three uh, um, sub stories, it will show in the right side. Now why it is not showing, um, it will publish it. You can see here it is scrolling down because we have taken the one column layout. Change the layout of this page. You can see here. I will just edit this section. You can see I'll select one column layout. Now you can see here how this is coming. So one, um, you know, news web part is coming in the left side. Three is coming in the right side. And uh, then you can see here uh, there are list which side by side. You can see here four. It is showing uh, hub news. You can see like like this. It will show uh, carousel. You can show it this way. Tiles page. You can see this is how um, you can see tiles view. It come like this. Um, so the best one is you can see this way. Uh, you can store it. You can display it. And then uh, show compact view in narrow weight. So this kind of options it will show. So number of views. So if you will disable it, it will not show the number of views. Uh, so the author, um, so the public uh, first published it. So these things, if you configurations, you can uh, um, do it. And then if there is no web parts are there, you can just click this option if there is no uh, news are there uh, then it will just hide this web part completely so that the bank blank space will not come but from that you can see it here you can actually filter in a different way so title include the words recently added recently changed created by modified by page properties these are various options you can show it so suppose i will select here uh, company you can see here so now you can see only two news it is showing because I have added this filter condition on this. And then you can see uh, enable tar audience targeting. So I have explained another video on SharePoint online uh, online highlighted content web part where I, I have explained how exactly the audience targeting works. So just enabling here it will not work. What we have to do is we have to go to the source space and we have to enable it. So basically we need to go to the, uh, if I'll just open the site here, let me just open the site here. I'll just quickly say it, but I'll put the video link so that you can have a look at this, how it works. So uh, what you have to do is go to the pages library here and uh, go to the library settings. And then from here, you will have to first enable audience targeting. You have to do everything and then you enable this option. And after that, it will start working uh, because the source is our uh, library. So there we have to enable audience targeting. This option and only will not work that way. And uh, then you can see here, uh, you can order uh, so that uh, uh, you can uh, uh, set the ordering also uh, with filter. You can set ordering uh, that option also is there. You can uh, change this order. You can just drag and drop and then things will change uh, on this one. So you can also organize that way. Um, so uh, this way we will be able to uh, use news apart to display news. And this is one of the very um, important web part when you will use whenever you are trying to build an internet page for your company or, or your organization um, and uh, because there will be a lot more places where you want to display information to the larger audience in your company so uh, you can select this option and you have a solid filter options um, and then also you can uh, if you want to display related to the current user, then you can use this new source and filtering options as well. So I hope this video is uh, helpful to you. And if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel because there we usually post a lot of um, uh, tutorials on Microsoft 365, uh, especially in SharePoint, Power Platform, SPFX, all those things. So thank you and have a nice day.